one word I would use to describe Al is that she's amazing. Laughter or like laughy, I guess, because you always had a smile on your face and I think almost every conversation I had with you, you'd end up giggling or laughing and um, like it really does radiate positive energy when you laugh, so. Dedicated. Because no matter the circumstances, if she's like hurt or she's wrapped up or taped up, she's always out on the field giving her best to the team and playing through it. My favorite memory with her would have to be just at our lockers before the games. Um, hoping and praying that she scores a diving header because her parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles would all give her like a hundred dollars each if she scored. Eve, we're on the injured reserve, whatever, we couldn't practice and Jimmy had us go on a lap, like just run, not a fast lap, a slow jog lap and he had used about three rolls of tape to tape your ankle. Before we start running, you're like, there's no way my ankle's gonna roll. Like he used three rolls of tape, like everything's fine. So we start running and, and we turn the corner and your ankle like rolls so hard. I literally thought you dislocated your ankle. And we had just been talking about how there was no possible way you could roll your ankle. And I've never laughed so hard. And um, we got in trouble for laughing, but um, that's one of my, when we were roommates for just long enough to take a nap before I put chunks in the bathroom at Syracuse. It was our last trip to BYU just because we got to be together for one last time and we watched so much Nailed It. Like that's when Al showed me the show and it was like so funny and that's like all we talked about the entire trip. I just want to tell you that you have been the greatest role model for me for the past eight years at Manual and at UofL and I just can't wait to see what you do in the future with your life and I know it's going to be great because you're great. Love you. Having you on the field so much, especially out wide and your crosses and just seeing you run nonstop and just never, never having a slow gear. Um, it's going to be hard without you out wide next year, and we're really going to miss you, not only on the field, um, but definitely off the field, in the locker room, on trips. I feel like you always made people laugh, and uh, uh, yeah, we're all really going to miss you, Al. So this is to you, big sis. I'm going to miss playing with you and learning from you both on and off the field. You were a great role model for me my first two years. Is just having her push me through practices and conditioning, like even when I wanted to stop or like it was getting hard, she was always a great motivator and always pushed forward and never stopped. And she was like re someone really good to look up to. I love you, Al.